into the way it is and also uh, Jim Smart sitting in for Senator Hassan Omar who unfortunately had some personal matters to attend to could not be with us this morning but James is representing people from Rambo village we understand all 900 of them are very proud to have him <laughs> here with us I'm so excited about knowing where I you think come I made from. a strategic mistake <laughs> 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 of course, I'm with weather. It's good yeah. to see you. Ah, uh, thank you. How are you doing? I'm well. How yeah. was your weekend? It was past a week? good week. Uh, very busy. Mm -hmm. I landed uh, what is called a writing contract, a juicy one. Ah, uh -huh. nice. a juicy one. Juicy one. Uh -huh. okay. Where you, you smile when uh, when you talk to them. Uh -huh. So I'm very grateful. It has been very busy. Mm -hmm. uh, also happy. Kenya is cooling down a bit uh, in terms of security. Yeah. We hope more improvements will be made so that we are slightly better yeah. from uh, the shackles of uh, the last two months. It's been terrible. Mm. But uh, things seem to be getting slightly better. Yes. Although we don't know whether our enemies are cooling, but uh, are, are re re regrouping. Not crafting something. Uh, but uh, changes are being made. You can see. Changes are being made slowly. Mm. Those who are sleeping on the job, they'll find themselves out. Slowly, cleverly. There will be a case of the past. Like where? Where are those changes happening? You can see the military is moving slowly. Slowly, slowly, slowly. It will then come down to the police. But it's moving by default, not by design. Well, it's you do not want to cause enmity mm -hmm. in powerful quarters. You don't just t wake up in the street and tell a general, get out, somebody who has served in the military for the last 30 years. He can have a it's junta and you will be out. So you move slowly. You use your head. You don't use slowly. your thorax. <laughs> how are the people of Rambwa? You know, do you, how are they doing? I was not there. And like Ambrose, no, Wada, and, 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 and like Ambrose who landed a juicy contract. So, you know, it's, it's been good. Uh, but I think it's been a fairly uh, quiet week or yeah. weekend, if you like. Um, issues of land uh, again cropping up. Uh, importantly, again, putting the Lamu, you know, back into you know national politics and in the frame of things. Uh, but the most important question, I think, that uh, moving forward mm. that should be answered uh, is exactly uh, these directors of these two companies. Do we know them? You know yeah. how? Because I saw the next day that the register of company says, "Well, we don't know who these guys are because they did not even register with us." It's a fake title, so a case of government telling government we don't know these people. You mm. know, uh, you know, quite uh, a disturbing. Story. If we're going to clean it up, then should we start from a place that is clean that we can actually say these are the guys yeah. that you know, 22, uh, ty you know, uh, companies, and these are the list of the directors. Some of them came out and say they were not allocated any of this land, mm. and, and that's important because mm. it's a legal transaction, you know, that happened there. So. It's not a matter of just waking up the next day and revoking titles and whatnot. So these matters could go to court and we could, you know, spend a lot of time, yeah. you know, in court traversing these matters. But an important place to start, to I start. think. And, and what are we in on that? Because following the president's statement, a lot of people have come out to criticize him to say, you know what, um, talking about revocation of those title deeds and yet investigations and all has not been conducted. Uh, was it in his place to say that or just to come and say, you know what, we've discovered this, investigations will take place? and then yes uh, if I get it clearly the president did not say that he has revoked any titles mm -hmm. he said he had uh, he has asked the cabinet secretary the National Land Commission to repossess the land and revoke the titles he did do it he ordered the relevant organs to do it. But ordering them even before it has been found for sure that there is a problem now, and that land needs now, to be Now, the processed. ordering therefore means that the relevant organs will do what is called the due diligence. The, the due process will take place that it is done. He just commenced the process that in prima facie, on the surface of what we have, mm -hmm. these titles are candidates for revocation put the process in place. In that process, some people will be able to prove whether or not uh, they grabbed or, or whatever. And then uh, they get justice. That is it. He didn't say, but you see, because he's the president, people just think uh, uh, in, the, in the morning, he, in the evening, he ordered in the morning, now there are no titles. No, there will be a due process. When you're canceling a title, it's a process that will require you to, re the title to be recalled. Then we have a physical register, a book. Mm. Big book. 
you have to counsel it physically with a ruler like this and write there counseled on this date and sign so it's not by virtue of a mouth or osmosis no so people should relax it will be done if you have a claim you go and prove your claim each parcel of land has a, has a, a file also yes but this has opened a Pandora's box, James, for the president. We know of for him and the family at large, there have been very many questions over land. But also now we're seeing a lot of finger pointing in as far as politics goes. This has opened a whole new land discussion. <laughs> and I mean, it's interesting that, I mean, and I think that they uh, caught to Secretary General at all, you know, say that we'd like to congratulate the president for not only, you know, uh, getting into Lamu and doing the right thing. We ask him to move in the all 47 counties mm. and do the same. Uh, but but I think the like we say, it's not only a Panora's box, not only for him, but the land question in this country. Mm -hmm. uh, no one would sit anywhere pretty and say, you know, the land issue in Kenya is just a matter of one person or two persons. The, the problem of land, you know, possibly started, you know, like what uh, Orengo Kukre is saying, started in the 1900s, mm -hmm. you know, 1900, I think, you know, when uh, the British came in, you know, and uh, alienated some huge chunks of land for themselves 40, 50 years later. Uh, started the Mau Mau, you know, issues, you know, around trying to repossess that land. Then mm -hmm. came in the first government, uh, you know, they were handed over part of that land, uh, gave it as government land, then much later, you know, sold it, you know. Uh, but of course, the people who could buy land at that time, you know, was the people in government, the people with money and resources. So the issues at, about land, you know, have to be a national conversation. We have to have an honest discussion on how the land that we have first, because We've decided in this country that land is the only way for anyone mm. to become rich, you know. It's a factor of production. So all of us, we are not farmers, <coughs> but, you know, whether here, you know, has land everywhere, you know, <coughs> Mlolongo, <laughs> you know, <laughs> spanning across to his village. Yeah. So land represents something for us, and we must have an honest conversation, like <coughs> what happened before. So it's, this is a good place to start, but we must open it you know, uh, into a national-wide conversation and say the land that we live in, yeah. so who owns it, how, how they mm. came to own it, who are the directors, because it's shrouded into many, you know, mystery, you know, into directors and directors and directors yeah. and companies and companies yeah, and companies. 70% of land in just, you know, 22 people's hands. Yeah, that's, so that's if, if that is a representation then of what the country is about, that if Lamu, that can happen, so yeah. imagine who owns Kenya. You know, uh, it could possibly be. Yeah. You know. And what as you comment, just want to invite our viewers to call in and be part of this uh, discussion this morning. We'll put our numbers on your screen. You can talk to us, comment. What do you think about this whole land discussion and the other issues we'll discuss this morning? Talk to us. We'd love to hear from you. Weda. Yes. Now, I, I want, I want uh, viewers to understand the issue of land is uh, very unique. Mm -hmm. Going from the time of creation. Uh, he said God picked soil and created man. Yeah. Uh, so that from there, our, our un the unique relationship between man and land is so unique and is so uh, emotional mm -hmm. that the turmoil in the whole world is revolving around land. Now the Israelis and the, the Arabs are pounding themselves day and night <laughs> over land. Mm -hmm. You come round, uh, there were Zungus who came to colonize Africa. It was just land. All the wars that have been fought, if you go around, even Kenya, the Ogaden War, all these things, the land clashes, land. The land question is so emotional mm. that even now as we deal with the Lamu, as we deal with other aspects, it is the only thing that we must look at very carefully. But you know, what? perhaps we've yes. not have gotten to even the last killings and all going by yes. what government has said would have been the reasons if the TGRC report had been moved on or acted upon, because that again has come into four and that it had been presented to the president last year, and it captured some of these issues that are now being talked about. TGRC time to... Sophia, let me... <laughs> I, I was developing this point. I tried to, to explain to you people okay. how the land, the land issue... Yes. The land issue is a landmine. It's a landmine anywhere in the world. Whether we had a cord, we had the jubilee, we have a money, we have a new government, the land question is very hot. Even in our own villages, you go to a place, places like Kiamba, I have my classmates who cannot live mm. 
mm. in their own ancestral homes with their brothers and cousins because they have been chased off. Their brothers say, you live here, we cut you land. In fact, we are so much in, in love with them. You know, Kenya, 80% of the Kenyan land is idle mm -hmm. and wild. Mm -hmm. But just, just go and try to cut a tree in any of those places. Look at the whole of North Eastern. It is almost a semi-desert. Mm -hmm. But you touch it and you will see war. So the TGR report was there, raising some of these issues. The Ndungulang report is also Even there. Even the Ndungulang report is there, yeah. raising some of these issues. Mm. The question is, which hand will touch it? It is so hot. You can see that the Lam one, people fought. Just like the, 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 the various, uh, the Turkanas are fighting with, mm. uh, with others. It is over land. Now you touch it, it opens the next, and the next, and the next, and the next, and it can consume this country in fire. Will this particular one open the next and even... Yes. Yeah? See, already you can it, see it, people it are telling has, the president, yeah. Mr. President, we understand <laughs> that uh, your father may also have been part of land in Taita Taveta. Mm. Please, you can see. Mm. Okay? It's far, you will also come and say, part of the land we bought. Then there will be, you bought it from who? Then the Mao veterans will also come. Then the Luos will come. Then we will say some people came from uh, South Sudan, others came from Congo Forest. You, do you see this? Mm. Because we are Delicious less than 100, 150 years old. Mm. You will see some people saying, the Maasai are saying, in fact, when you came to Nairobi, we were here. <laughs> that is why the land question is normally approached, should be approached very carefully. Now, if it is open theft, like uh, what happened in Nam, <coughs> you address it. The Constitution says we address historical injustices. Yet, if you open the so-called historical injustices, mm -hmm. the chaos that we will have will be much more than the profits we will receive. That is why you look at South Africa. The Boers came, displaced people, and harassed people all over. Mm -hmm. They said, look, let us uh, have tr truth and justice. Let us look at certain things and let us start moving forward. You see Mugabe went back the other day. He woke up and said, you people, the Wazungos, get off. To some extent, he did a good job. But to the country, the cost to the country will take them another generation to recover. So the land question is critical. But the way we handle it can bring us down. That land and negative ethnicity, our Achilles heel here mm. in this country. Yeah. So as we all politic about it, as we all jump and politic, hey, <laughs> President Uru, Raila, Orengo, hey, hey, let us know Kibaki, let us know that question is so sore, is so hot that it can bring us down. In fact, even the 207 clashes, the, the blood that was shed in Rift Valley between Kalenjins and Kikuyus was not because of Raila's victory. They had something which had been boiling. Mm. So when they, they said, hey, these Kikuyus have stolen our election, let's go and burn them. It, they were not burning over election, they were burning over land. And some of this even land which have been bought. I have bought land from people. And you hear them saying, they have given you land. You give them money, <laughs> they eat. After they have finished eating, they say, this is my land I gave to Wakili. Yet you bought open market. So, James, are we resigning ourselves due to this, you know, very delicate situation we find ourselves in, that mm. de resigning ourselves to a place of hopelessness? So now what next? Where will this end, the problem with land, or will we just be there? I, I think the Constitution uh, presupposed that we should have uh, a national conversation about land. The National yeah. Lands Commission, yes. uh, one of its duties was to look at historical injustices and open that conversation. Mm. And at some point we should, all right, we should, we should say, uh, because we cannot start that healing without knowing the truth. You know, someone must say the truth, Wakili. But yes. you know, uh, I came Lim. to KTN Studios and yes. I stole this, you know. Sure. So now it's no longer there, it is half of it, I'm willing to return it. You know, and, and I think that is the only way we can start building a cohesive society. Uh, that this is a conversation that is difficult, it is tough, uh, it can pain, and of course it will pain, it will hurt a lot of people. It's, people have lost lives over, over it, you know. Now we're going to, we don't know what's going to happen in Lamu. It's constant, you know, threats, you know, insecure. You don't know what's going to be the next flashpoint. So we don't know, you know. Today, it's Lamu, tomorrow can be easily anywhere else mm. in this country. Uh, so we must have a place where we're going to say, this is where we, uh, 
uh, like the South Africans, uh, what Kili says, well, they had a national conversation and agreed, and we see even, you know, Rwandans did in a different matter, you know, together. Mm -hmm. And say, since land is our biggest flashpoint, that we all of us are distrustful of each other, and possibly uh, many years ago, you know, you were not there, I was not there, some things, some things might have happened, you know. Let's go back and try and audit so that we know what really happened, then you say, you know what, there's nothing really we can do that now we have an entire population of people living in this place. We can't approach them. They're already there. Mm -hmm. Something wrong happened, so what do we do about it? You know, but now we can't have start having that discussion. We can always placate it. We can always, you know, put everything into it. But we'll never get away from it until we have that national conversation. It's not about, mm -hmm. I think, uh, political leadership to start that conversation. You know, there, there should be uh, enough leadership, you know, from, from everyone else, yeah. you know, for us to, to start having that difficult conversation because it's a difficult one personally i think uh, uh, we need to minimize or reduce the hunger for land it is a uh, addiction for land you understand it's the kenyan dream it's addiction and why are we addicted to it in fact a lot of land people own land which they don't know what to do with it so the way to reduce addiction, my view, is number one. Mm -hmm. We should be able to impose taxation on idle land. So that you have minimum, you have where you have your house. You have people working, you work in the bank, you are a businessman. Yet you are also owning large tracts of land in uh, Kajiado, <laughs> a thousand acres. Mm -hmm. If you ask what exactly are you doing with it, you say, I am waiting one day to subdivide it into plots and sell. Let us minimize that hunger. That is one. Two. It is not conceivable that people who are born and bred in this country can be squatters unless they sold what they had. Okay? Mm -hmm. You cannot have a whole region being um, having squatters. We deal with issue of squatters. Sort it out. Then, those who want to invest, like in Rwanda, if you want to invest properly and you show capital, they'll show you land. So the hunger for land is a bit minimized. But here, we know very well that here, Lapset is coming. This will be the advantage. So what do we do? Let us very quickly grab this land. It was not, it is, by the way, if, if we cancel Lapset today, cancel it and say, yes. Lapset is out. The, the value the, of land, the value will, will, yeah. land will go, we'll go down. and yeah. people will be begging you, can you take this land? Mm. So to reduce that hunger, and then to settle those who do not have, and uh, to have a deliberate policy on investment. You should be able to uh, put us in a better state. But otherwise, land will consume us. It will set brother upon brother, sister upon sister, cousin upon cousin, and it is going and it is boiling. Mm. That is why you see, you see now the gated communities and um, the high-rise buildings. It is because of land. There are people who, their homes are just next to uh down there. Mm -hmm. But they can't live there. Their own other brother say, You are rich, go and buy land. We have to address this. Mm. But address it in a way that does not bring down the country. Yeah. If we start by looking at uh, who stole what. Yeah, because that's where the, the, that's the question, <coughs> the angle it's taking now. It's if we start by path. who stole what, those who are able to steal the land who are so powerful. And their generation and their grandchildren are equally powerful. So the, those, we, we are purporting, if you are in the opposition, we are purporting to be talking on behalf of the Rwambwa people. Okay? <laughs> Thank you very much. Ray. But when you get in, <laughs> you, are, you, are, you are not talking on me. You are talking on me. I'll, I'll, I'll have you know that yes. the, in, in the Rwambwa there are no learning justices. <laughs> <laughs> well, 900 like, people. Yes. I don't think it would be very difficult to be able to manage that situation. Yes. Mm, so land is very hot. <laughs> Yes, uh, I think Sophia, it's as, as we as we discuss this, and like we say, we need to move it forward. You know, mm. in terms of so what happens? You know, after the president, uh, you know, asked the relevant authorities, you know, to get forward and you know start the process of revoking those titles. Yes. Yes. Uh, the National Lands Commission, uh, which has always had friction between yes. them and the yes. Lands Commission, found themselves in an awkward position. Also, that now uh, the ones who are the ones who are the body, you know, that can you know, need to start the process. Mm -hmm. uh, remember, in this new constitution, it's not uh, conceivable that the president or the minister can sign, you know, allocate your land or revoke your titles. The National Lands Commission, that is a preserve yeah. of the National Lands Commission. Mm. By the way, if the constitution, 
the constitution is said that uh, the beautiful wedding girl is the National Land Commission with a new power. If you read the fine letter of the constitution, it is the other side. But the, what Kenyans wanted and what Kenyans perceived was that issues of land would be uh, handed over to the National Land Commission, the trust land, the public land. The bulk of the land is remained by the, the commission. Yes. Not with the commission, mm. with the ministry. Mm -hmm. It remains. Mm -hmm. uh, if you look at the fine uh, letter of the constitution, they are supposed to recommend appropriate. That's the key word, recommend appropriate. Somebody somewhere, as he was drafting, changed the dream. <laughs> The dream was to be on the National Land Commission, but I think somebody, as he was drafting, <laughs> changed that dream back. So we are living in the past, but the, the final letter of the constitution is different. So, <laughs> what, so, so where, where, where do we go? Because now we have a flashpoint between the National Lands Commission and the, and the Lands Ministry yes. on who exactly has the powers to not only revoke those titles. If you're going to have, say, yes. that discussion about yes. historical injustices. Yes. So the National Lands Commission just recommends to the ministry. Yes. It would, uh, they're supposed to formulate policy, investigate national uh, uh, those injustices, mm -hmm. and then you hand it over to the implementing authority. Yet the original intention was that they be able to deal with it as an independent commission. That is why they have been uh, running the forward friction. and forward. Yes. Now, even if they were to investigate themselves, mm -hmm. investigate land and tell you about this, the question that makes it difficult yes. is who will implement it? The land, the land we're talking about is owned by who? The who's who? Who is who? Of this in this country. All yes. of them from both sides. Both sides of the political divide. The uh, opposition, government. Which then means we'll remain where we are. You cannot go for the other because then it's at your own peril. They can't throw, the opposition cannot throw the stone. Yes. You understand? They can't throw the first stone. The government also cannot throw the first stone because it is land. But we're seeing the some of the, the land members is going for Rengo and saying he needs to be arrested and investigated and he's saying, I was there, yes, but hey. Uh, I, I think uh, those who are calling for the arrest of Rengo are forgetting that when they were uh, presiding over the cake, the Lamu cake, mm. they, it was a team, a team that was in government then. Orengo as an individual, uh, being on the Raila side, remember even the Quebec government was divided into two, the Raila side, the Quebec side, and they were checking each other. And most permanent secretaries were from Quebec side. So it was not possible for Orengo himself also to dip his hand in the Lamu port without the assistance of his colleagues from the other side. So it is a whole spectra. So you can, you, if you arrest Orengo and you can see Orengo says, I'm also willing to, to spill beans. And the beans will be spilled and they will be running all over Kisumu, Eldoret, Theka, wherever, and we end up with the hot potato I spoke about. Okay. Let us, if, if, if they, they, they admit, as Orengo seems to be saying, okay, something was wrong. Let us correct that one and move forward. Mm. Yes. All right. We're going to take a short break. and we return, we'll talk more about the U.S.-Africa Summit, the Heads of State. That yes. begins today. And it's Uncle Barry's birthday as well. Perhaps uh, <laughs> the people from Rambo would want to sing a birthday song. It's, 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 not, very, it's not very far from Kogala. From <laughs> 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 We'll talk about that and more.